Yo, what's up guys? This is Tian Tsu no Akuma here with my 29th tips and tricks video. I have some really cool info for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned till the end for it, okay? Having oracles basically turns you into a high priority target. That 400 gold spent on oracles can completely go to waste if you died immediately after buying it and then using it. A quick tip is to only pop your oracles when you are guaranteeing a ward kill. Also, be extremely careful when taking out wards. Sometimes people can put wards out on purpose in order to bait an enemy with oracles and eventually kill them. As you can see here, Janna is taking extreme caution before taking out the ward. She even uses her own tornado to impede anyone who may have been over the wall. Many champions have a set playstyle. For example, Hourglass on Morgana. It is commonplace for Morganas to use their ultimates and immediately cast Hourglass. Don't do that. Always use whatever you have at your disposal when the best time to do so comes by. As you can see here, I choose not to use my hourglass and in turn was able to use it at a good time when I was being focused, which in turn allowed me enough time to pick up my cooldowns and take out Maokai on the way out. Sometimes the game can be quite stressful and you might throw skills at people in anger, like a child throwing a tantrum. Always keep your cool. Karthus was probably distressed at being jumped on in the bush unexpectedly, and in turn popped his ult pointlessly. Because he had already wasted his ult, he was unable to utilize it to take out the Ezreal that he had 1v1 and lost to. Had he kept his ultimate, he would have came out with this fight with at least a trade. Two stealth champions, Twitch and Eve, need some time before they can go into stealth mode. While this is occurring, you can interrupt and elongate the amount of time it takes for the stealth to occur by attacking them. This lasts up to 8 seconds, so during that time, you must try to kill them, or else they will disappear, no matter how much you hit them. Almost every single move has a counter skill to it. In this situation, my intention is to kill Kaylee with my quick burst and ignite combo. Unfortunately, with her ult, I am unable to finish her off, and so I decide to bait out her ult. I pretend that I am committed to killing her and waste all of my skills. Notice how I go in two times before she takes the bait. Patience and perseverance is key. Once she finally takes the bait, I take her down to a smidgen of HP before guaranteeing the kill with ignite. If I was impatient, she would have flashed away and lived with her heal, even though I successfully baited out the ultimate. Most players with AoE spells try too hard to hit every single champion. By doing so, you can end up hitting no one in the end. It is always better to select specific targets once you cast your AoE. As you can see here, I was greedy and wanted to hit both Aurelia and Mordekaiser with my ultimate. Because of this, my chain broke and I was unable to kill Aurelia. This also resulted in Mundo's death. Alright guys, so this is the quick update. Oh, well, not really quick, it's going to take a little while. <laughs> Anyways, so I have officially closed the submission page for tips and tricks. Uh, I did not get as many submissions as I would have liked to. So I'm closing it off until I have more subscribers, probably over at least 10,000. But I will still be continuing the monthly $10 right point slash PayPal prize to a lucky subscriber. This week, the winner was Mirage Dragon, uh, but he has yet to respond to my uh, a message, so it might go on to the next lucky winner. Anyways, so here's the really cool information. I am starting this new thing I like to call playing with the pros. Basically, every single week on a stream, I will be inviting a professional player to play with me and a lucky viewer. That lucky viewer will be chosen from a raffle, uh, and the raffle will be on my website. Basically, my website designer, 180 BPM, will create a form where you can submit your own summoner name to be put into the raffle. Also, on the side, you will also be able to nominate any kind of professional player you'd like to see uh, being played with <laughs> next week. I did not word that any better. Anyways, so basically this is how it's going to work. That lucky viewer who was chosen from the raffle will be playing with me as in addition to the professional player. All three of us should be on Skype or some kind of a uh, mm, team chat, something like that. And uh, of course it will, will be recorded. All of this will be recorded and put onto YouTube every single week. So basically we'll, all three of us will be together and any kind of questions that that viewer may have for the professional player, 
uh, he can ask a professional player should respond unless of course it's a too personal question <laughs> and also the professional player should be answering questions that are maybe on the stream as well basically we will also be playing in a game as well and that professional player will be giving out tips to the viewer preferably the viewer should have the same kind of rules that the professional player has for example if a professional player likes to play AP mids then hopefully the viewer also likes to play AP mids as well which would make it a lot easier for the professional player to give out tips so yeah look forward to that I will be creating that within the next few weeks and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that if you guys want to see more please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel see ya